Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Punk Rock Dad and Sons here today with a revisit to an old filming location I did about eight or nine years ago at Perfect Swing in Norman, Oklahoma. Are you guys ready? Let's have an adventure. Now this Perfect Swing, this was a family fun center. And this, we're at the corporate fun center section. And as you can see, a lot of these places, a lot of these buildings are just gone. There was a massive tornado that came through and different things that caused the owners not to want to rebuild. There's many stories of why that happened, but nobody's exactly sure. As far as I know, nobody has talked to the owners to get a straight up story of what, what actually is going on. Let's see, if I remember right. This has got kind of a creepy air to it. Well, at one point, this was going to be remodeled, but just something. I guess money never. That's a go kart track right there. See stacks of. Whoa. Bumper Belt Lagoon. That's a baseball area. These are the batting cages. You see the pitching machines are still there. And this is the main building here. This is where you would go in and play arcade games, all your tokens, get all your tokens, team all your tickets, all that good stuff. This is just left in a massive state of disarray. There's probably a couple homeless people living here. No, actually not, from what I understand. This was where the driving range was, was out this way. But all the driving range is gone, the mini golf course is gone, really all that's left here are the buildings. And as you can see, we are right next to Highway 9. That's what made this such an amazing attraction for Noble and Norman, was that it was right off of Highway 9 and Highway 77. It made it really easy 
for people to get here. No. No. Too blacked out. We can't see inside. Oh yeah, somebody was living here at one point. But it appears, at least for now, but this is it. This is what's left of the ruins. Of perfect swing on Highway 9. And if you ever come out here, be careful. Well, I wouldn't suggest coming out here at all. This is private property. We are doing the risky bit here. But that's what we do. We do the risky bits for you guys so you don't have to. But if, I... if you ever decide to come out here, just be careful of the cops. The batting cages? Yep. Yeah, probably, but no. Looks like there's not a lot of not on the bottom, so there's chains. Yeah. There's probably no way to get there. That little bumper boat thing is open, so then. The bumper boats? That's where bumper boats were. Instead of bumper cars, they were like little rafts that you floated on. This would have been like a ticket kiosk, I believe. Oh, Lou. Lou found a place, found a way in. Or maybe. Yes, he did, actually. Well, these are the... This is the batting cages that were so advertised. And if they're a big fan of baseball, oh. Love this. Good thing we decided not to walk out into that. The center of the batting cages has actually turned into a small swamp. You can still see some of the balls they used. But this is urban decay, folks. Now, of and course, no, you have to be careful. No, most yeah. of these areas are chained off. It looks like they forgot one. Or someone. This certainly is has been a good introduction for the twins into the hobby of Urbex. Okay. And note so you might have more videos like this. Or in all places. I do plan on revisiting some of my old video locations with the boys. Of course, this Perfect Swing video is turning out to be a lot better than my old one was. Because I actually made entry today. So we were pretty careful. We are really careful. No. And this is a legendary go-kart track. Many a rivalry spot. Oh, many 50 people. cc go karts. It doesn't look like any of it blocked off. Like any of the tracks blocked off. So we could probably. Yeah, we could probably walk the track, but we could probably find a go kart actually. No, all the go karts are gone. They sold those off right after the tornado. Before the tornado even hit, I believe. They gave up on this place pretty much. But if you look, the fence line actually goes out pretty far back there. There is actually a lot of property here, but from what I understand, the owners just refuse to sell, or there's some reason that they can't sell, or something. Nobody's exactly sure what. Who knows? They could pretty much get rid of it, and this becomes open to the public. For us to see. What better be is that? Is this right now? So, but maybe. No admittance beyond this point without special corporate wristband. That'll work. Of course, 
course, it doesn't matter by now. <laughs> How long did? Well, it looks worse than it was than it did when I was out here eight years ago, filming the last video out here. But just to give you an idea. Oh, I mean, there's plenty of history out here. I'm sure people are gonna comment down in the comments section about how they used to come to lock-ins here. But of course, because schools would do lock-ins for the students where they'd be here all night long and have access to the arcades and be careful guys, broken glass. Look at this, the down sign. And this, this used to be up and proud where everybody could see it from Highway 9. Now, it's down on the ground. Now it's derelict. But this is it. This, this is it. The derelict rundown perfect swing in Norman, Oklahoma. And you guys got a, a much intimate more a much more intimate view this time around. Yeah, well, we don't take anything. So one thing guys, if you're ever out doing urbex and you're somewhere it you're going to want to take some sort of you know, you're going to want to take something to have memories of the place, but remember, it is stealing. Even though we found a random test rocket. Here in Sirius Murphy and Sons, we don't steal stuff from the places we go. We don't graffiti, we don't break, we don't break in. And we would expect you guys to do the same if you're following suit for us. So, soak it all in, guys. Wait, actually, before we end the video, let's go ahead and walk around up front and get one last view of everything out front in the front of the building because we've been tucked in. I'll show you where we've been parked. We had to find a good parking spot so we didn't get caught. We parked. Right here. You can see Honda Miss Prime. We parked back here during near the corporate section. That's where if like, a business wanted to have a retreat or something for their employees and treat their employees they would come out and rent out the park for just for those reasons yeah. now, so this actually had a pretty big parking lot this could service quite a few people at a time you know in its heyday when things were hopping you would have tons of people out here on a Friday and Saturday night. I want to say this was open in the mid to late night, uh, early early 90s. And if you I didn't quite do my research because I used to live down here, so I just for, I forgot. And if you guys know for sure when it opens, leave a comment down in the comment section. But there's that go-kart track we were just up behind, up at the entrance of. Probably a lot of friendships lost. <laughs> now, just as many made as lost. Yes. But if you ever do come out here, don't break. We don't want to get anyone arrested by trying to do what we do. Right. I would honestly suggest that you don't. Just watch my videos. Let us do all the hard work. And actually, it kind of looks like there might be a little thing over there. Nope, there's not a single gate over there. And even if there was, it would probably be a lot. Just got lucky. up, guys. If you ever come here, most of the gates here are locked. This is it. This is the front facade 
a perfect swing. None of its signage is left. Nothing. Yeah. Overgrown. Yeah, there's signs. Now, of course. Again. Oh. Code violation notice. Okay. Ooh, that's for cool. unsecured structures. That probably is why is one of the reasons that it's not being uh, remodeled. Remodeled, but oh, 